Okay, this video is for Arya399. The question is yoga for f for f football, right? Sh should should they should this person do yoga for football? What are the benefits? Questions about it. Um, there's a theory of, of time time economy and training economy. Now you only have so much, so many hours. You only have so many hours in your day, right? You only have so um, so much time to train. So. You, especially at the higher levels, you wanna do the most, or, or not even at the high levels, even at the lowest level, right? You wanna always do the most important things first. And I'm not saying yoga's bad, I think um, yoga's beneficial, but you wanna make sure that you sh you're structuring your time where, right, you wanna do the most important things in your day before noon, that way you can get into the second second half of the day with good energy right with with good momentum <clears throat> so for example if if you like let's say you wake up and you wake up before any obligations either school or work you want to spend the most amount of your time dedicated to the things that are going to uh, pack the most punch and those things are are actually the smallest the smallest effortless things that you could do every day um, that most people take for granted. So for example, if you're considering taking yoga, but you haven't already mastered the ability to juggle for let's say five minutes straight, or you can't, like you, and you, the question is yoga for football, but if you, you gotta take care of some, some football stuff first, right? I, I, would, I, would, I would spend some time kicking the ball around. For example, if you can't juggle for five minutes, just going right to left, right to left. Nice and easy. I would say that would be the great place to start, right? I would drill down a juggling routine, a daily juggling routine before I would consider yoga because, right, the question is, oh, what should I do that's complementary to yoga or complementary to football? So you gotta take care of football first, right? Football is the most important thing. Um, um, that would be my number one juggling get yourself into a juggling practice use smaller balls to help sharpen your touch right if you pair your juggling practice with a, a, a bigger ball a small right I got size one I got a tennis ball and then you just start to go through the rotation you're gonna see a lot of benefit fast right you're gonna see some benefits start to accrue very fast just go through the rotation you drop it no big deal, drop it. Right, just a daily juggling practice. It's so um, undervalued, underrated. So I promise you, you spend some time um, with that juggling practice and uh, it, it's gonna really pay off dividends. The next thing, get yourself a ball and a rope. It's so simple. It's gonna help you get more touches than anyone you know, right? Skills kick trainer. But the most important one, is gonna help you get more touches than yourself yesterday, right? So you wanna just get into, a, again, a daily habit, lots of touches, breathing, nice and easy, right? A lot of touches. It's gonna improve coordination, balance, timing, rhythm, ball striking, right? You could get, you could cram months of training into days or weeks with this ball and a rope, right? Muhammad Ali, he trained six days a week, all day. This is a tool that you can have in your bag that can travel with you anywhere. It's gonna really improve your game. Um, yoga as well is very much to do with breathing and um, a tool that's changed my life personally that I believe can help you is called an, it's called an O2 trainer, right? Zero two trainer. You could Google it, just search on Amazon. It's for three minutes a day. It strengthens your breathing muscles. It's gonna improve your stamina and endurance. It's also gonna teach you how to do belly breathing, which is just breathing in through, not through your chest, or you're gonna breathe through your belly. So you go. This is supposedly the superior way to breathe compared to where, right? You tell someone to breathe with their, take a deep breath, they'll go. They'll breathe through their, their upper back and their chest. Supposedly, this is the wrong way to breathe, right? Babies are naturally belly breathers. All animals in the king, animal kingdom are belly breathers. 
um, belly breathing massages your inter internal organs and has a whole other list of benefits that um, I think it's definitely worth your time. So give, give some of those things a try. Definitely spend a minute or two at least every day, right? That's my challenge to you. Minute or two a day juggling, get into a nice rhythm, breathing, relaxed, right? Then you could take that composure and that good ball control on the field. It's gonna help you make um, make make good decisions. So, uh, and then skills kick trainer, right? Try those things. I promise you, 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 try, you try them, you spend a few minutes a day doing them, they're gonna really help improve your game. Okay, uh, thanks for your time.